Check one, check one. Checking one. And welcome. First impressions of this game. I know you can't see me. I'm in the shadows. I'm deep in the shadows. Yeah. Open world survival thing, maybe. Small land with only two L's. Hmm. This is not grounded. Believe it or not. 30, 29, 25, 22, 17, 14, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, I'm good, Bobber, too. Might have heard of me. Behold. Wow. <laughs> I have antennae and ears. Check out them ears. Can I adjust my ears? Body type. Oh, beast. Reuben. Yes. I'm a round fellow. Yes. 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 I, I'm panda shaped. I could fall out of trees. It's for falling. <laughs> falling out of trees. Amen. Yeah, I tuck my arms in and I, and I start rolling. Ears. Oh my gosh. Gross. Serrated. Oh, no. Oh, no. There you go. Yeah. It's more like it. We're getting closer. The old ways... Yes. Yeah. Hey there, orange beard. One second. My antennae are clavate. Clavate or liliform. They're all exposed. Gross. Wow. Capitate. Nice. Laminate. Or lamellate. I'm digging these. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, what have we got here? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right about there. Medium here. I am a round man. <laughs> there we go. Troll doll. Double pupil, gross. What am I, some sort of goat? Huge eyeballs. 
I'm a friendly Disney character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't want these eyeballs on you. You don't want these eyeballs on you. I'm of the leaf. I am pinkish of hue. There you go. Yeah. I am of the trees. Online. Friendly fire. Peaceful. Keep inventory on death. Disable building weather dist dist What? Unsheltered building pieces do not take us. So Valheim. Day cycle, 30 minutes per day. 180 minutes in a season. What? Oh. And... Uh, new world. Blarnia. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. No, it's good property. Look, it's it's the uh, it's the Bohemian Grove. Behold, I am the one of the wood. My queen is ill, gravely ill. That is why, as your king, I'm asking you for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure, whatever may be the cost. Be bold, be brave, remain vigilant. I am King Valdemar. You are my vanguard core. I am the wood itself. Okay. I can jump well. Okay. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Hold F. Yep. It's D button. Yep. Left control is dodge. Toggle crouch. Roll. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. There it is. All right. Uh-huh. Now we're playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Okay, inventory. Menu. Gotcha. Random hotkeys. Move again. First impression. I like how it looks. First impressions. I like how it looks. Uh, I enjoyed the music. It was very Hotter Harry Potter-esque. Invisible walls. I can't jump off the side. Hello! Are you Sentinel Virgil? I've heard about you and your ways. I've been tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the burrows, as I have crucial and critical information to impart. Keep an eye trained for those owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the era and Provide useful hints and tips, baby. Outside you'll find the Captain Hearn. He'll help you in your first days outside the burrows. Thank you. What's this? Yes. Okay, mouse wheel. In, out, 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 in, 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 first person. I have a body. No, um, it's not first person. It's just right over the shoulder. That's fine. Gather the sticks. Yes, I've unlocked the builder's hammer, wood hatchet, and wood club. Pressing G to craft now. I will now craft the builder's hammer. I need t five total wood. I can craft nothing. But it's showing me what I can craft. Which is fine. And now I have the wood. And now I have the torches. I will press G. Builder's hammer. I have completed the builder's hammer. I can now make a campfire, workbench, simple bed, and simple chest. Yes. I will now equip the builder's hammer. Assigning to number one. We have inventory. That's me. I have traveler's gauntlets on. The torso. 
legs. This is small land. Cool protection. Durability. Yes, I'm sheltered. Sure, I'm in the burrows. Yes, crafting. Yes. Map. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Compendium. That's to speech. Codex, indeed. Nothing. Oh, the things I've learned. Fibrosis. Awesome. I can now make things. Campfire requires everything in the world. That's fine. Can I wreck things? No. Let's just move forward. And I'll craft... Uh, I'll collect what I could. Hmm. I'm in some sort of burrow of sorts. There are spriglets of fiber. Resin of yore. I'm currently uh, playing this on the G-Force now. Cloudy poo. Okay. All right. Nice. Can I go in the water? No. Give me the stick. I cannot gather the stick. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Moving on. Hey. Uh... Am I full or something? All of a sudden, I can no longer grab things. Hey, look! Am I full? What's happening? Wood club. I see the problem. The problem is I, I I wasn't able to gather because I I equipped the the hammer. But I solved the problem. Yes. Let me go back and gather a few more things. And I, I couldn't interact with anything. What a shame. All right, owl. What do you have for me? The overland's rich with resources and food and so forth. Correct tool to harvest. You can craft different tools to harvest different things. Send resources can only be harvested with specific tools. So figure it out. Press V to engage the antenna mode. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Oh, my sweet pistachio. When I examine an owl, effigy reveals useful info. It's logged in my compendium forever. Press tab to open inventory and figure it out. All right, cool. Press tab, I said. Keep track of all the stuff that you've done. All the things you've learned. Mushroom steak. Edible mushrooms. Workbenches and so forth. Let's keep on going. Mm -hmm. And the Burles is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that's home to the small folk like me. The tunnels are incredibly intricate with multiple levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of yards in all directions. They're lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere for people like you. Small people. Nice. I like how it says resin. Hi there. Food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought home some fresh insect eggs. My wife can make a mean pixie omelet. Mind if I grab this? Thank you very much. You have a great day. Sentinel. All you need for speed of repairs is a good builder's hammer.
Mold everywhere. The good kind. Make sure to search out those owl effigies, you chump. How dare you? Leave me alone. We have insect eggs. I like how it's almost first person. <laughs> Hello. May the sacred owl be with you and yours. Forevermore. Good luck in the overland, Vanguard. Keep your wits about you and stay frosty. And, and watch those corners. Remember, uh, swapping weapons is faster than reloading. Soap. Be careful, Vanguard. There's some nasty creatures. Make sure to roll. Oh, no! Uh, what do I do? No! Ah! Ah! I lost everything. Do I get my stuff back? I had nothing. I had nothing. I had like a couple insect eggs and stuff, you know. It's pretty funny though. Good thing I'm a bug person. Hello! I wish I wasn't on night watch duty. The Overland's a dangerous enough place during the day. Yes. I am that of the bug. Captain Hearn was stationed downhill from here. You should go and introduce yourself to the man. I like how there's like a storyline. Thank you. Hello. You can lose health due, due to a variety of factors being attacked by hostile creatures, combat rolling into the water, extreme temperatures, and falling from a great height, or being now, now nourished. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished or sleeping, or just staying out of danger. Hi there, I'm an owl. Sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Pay attention when it comes low. Manage it carefully and don't die. Beautiful flam flam. Look onto thee. This game is actually, it might be a good game. Maybe I won't uninstall it and get a refund. Steam is really good about letting you buy a game and refund it within an hour or so. What the heck am I doing? Ah! What was that button? Oh, I get it. Wow! <laughs> well, this game is good. It might even be a couple times better than Grounded. Because I can slide. That's all I gotta say. What? What now? Now? Now what? Now? Now I can't loot? Now what? Now I can't do anything? Now what? Now we can't do anything. I can't do anything. What happened? This is what happened last time. Anyways, wood hatchet. I make. I'm, I'll make that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't able to loot. Cause like I have to be holding something. Bare hands or hatchet, maybe. Oh. Look at that berry. Oh my goodness. 
Yes. Good old grounded acorns. Thank you for having a scanner. Whee! Hi there. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I'm Captain Ernest Manikapi. But most small folks simply call me Hearn. What can I do for you? Well, I was told to report to you for my assignment, buddy old pal. Oh, yes, I've been expecting you. The Elder Ludwig has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He's staying in that cave right down the hill. You can't miss it. It's like a really obvious cave. But you can ask me questions if you like. I enjoy answering questions. What's the Overland? Well, the Overland is what we call the world on the surface. It's, it's, it's very dangerous. There's cats and birds and butterflies. You won't find all the comforts of the burrows, but you'll find food and... Oh my gosh, you have to construct a shelter. Create that club, a builder's hammer, and build yourself a shelter and a wood hatchet. To harvest food and other natural resources, you can craft these items without a workbench. You just gotta get enough materials. The, the oak forest is rich in fiber and wood, so look out for that garbage. The rest you can get from hunting down those creatures. Now, for a shelter, you want to get yourself a builder's hammer. It's pretty easy. Once you have one, equip it and start building. But beware, weather in the overland can damage your constructions unless you're covered by a roof. Okay, you played Be Valheim. There you go. Now, as for food, it's all around you. You just got to learn what can be eaten and what can't. Mushrooms and wild strawberries can be found right here in this very forest. If you know where to look, I'll give you a hint. Strawberries are red. Mushrooms aren't. But sometimes they are. You can also hunt the creatures of the woods. Some of them can be very tasty. Creatures? Yes, that's true. Sacred Owl Vanguard, have you never eaten anything but leaves? Some creature organs are delicious. Are you a vegan or something? But if you don't like them raw, you can always cook them. Build yourself a campfire and try. As for a campfire, first get yourself a builder's hammer. Once you have one, equip it and start building that campfire. You can craft me some armor, bring you some materials... All right, this guy can craft me some armor. The braces. The breeches. I built braces and breeches. That I already had on me. Whatever. Thank you for your information. I'll go down the way and... You know? Do what I can. Padded breeches. Added bracers. I now have better armor. Thank you for your help. And I now know how to play. Small, small folk are resourceful people. Tools, weapons, and the like can be crafted out of materials. Finding crafting recipes to learn how to craft those items is essential. Typically, you'll need to find a crafting station. You could build one. Every Vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons without a, without a workbench. You press the G button. You figure it out. Right, let me hurry up. I'm a vanguard. Nice. I have antennae. I'll tell you what, any game that runs on GeForce now is okay by me. I'll tell you what. All right, my, my job is to go down the hill and uh, explore the overland, basically. I'm a vanguard. You know. The, the, the queen's ill and I have to address the issue. I was summoned by the king of the forest. 
Woohoo! That's so cool. Hello. Stay away from deep water, you'll die. My goodness, you'll die. Small folk can't swim. Upon death, you'll respawn. And a tombstone will appear where you died. Go back and get your stuff, maybe. If you really want to. You can't swim. Haha. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Watch out for that water. Wow. It's a world of resources. So I, I, I unleash, and then I hold to pick up. But I can't hold to actually gather, or... You know? It's like... It's like kicking an apple tree, and then picking up the apples. I can hold the button to pick up the apples, but I, I can't hold the button to kick the apple tree. I have to hit each item. And then gather afterwards. So we're still at the beginning, and they really want—they really want me to have a lot of material. I guess we have to make a shelter soon. I can see my hunger levels are very low, and that's concerning. I will address that problem very soon. I guess time is passing, and I'm getting hungry. And then my uh, my comfort levels are dropping because I'm outside in the world right now. But I, I'll solve that problem once I round that corner. Let me just gather a few more supplies. Just a few more because they're here in front of me. The temperature will greatly drop at nighttime and raise in the afternoon. Some creatures of the overland are nocturnal. Will come at nighttime. Watch out! They're more dangerous at nighttime. Build a bed to set a new respawn point. You're going to sleep at nighttime. And you got to be sheltered and, and there must be no hostile creatures around to go to bed. All right, let me let me hurry up and oh my gosh, it's getting darker. There's a cave ahead. That counts as shelter, right? Hello, the elder. Vanguard, you're here. What are you doing in this overgrown cave? The the jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. Nothing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. Now who's the apothecary, you might ask? Melkar was the royal family's personal apothecary. This cave that we're standing in was his personal lab laboratory. Here in the overland, Melkar the apothecary of the royal family. This is the cave of the apothecary. He will spend countless days searching the overland for rare ingredients to use in his potions. Now, in the chest, you might ask, well, his greatest achievement was the elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to the small folk. Now, the clover key unlocks that box. It's pretty important. The key was located in the royal vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill and the clover key was needed, but it could have happened some time ago. They need the elixir of life of Melkar the apothecary's cave, its chest, and the clover key is missing. Oh no. Have we tried to break open the chest by force? We dare not. The, chair, the chest is reinforced with magic. And... If we do so, it'll, it might implode and crush the elixir. Now, we're having trouble. Horrible, troubling reports, mind you. From the overland settlers in the forest, it seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. I need you to seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Why are the creatures becoming aggressive? Why are the creatures agitated? Go out there and speak with the settlers of the overland. Now, does this have anything to do with the clover key? Fantastic question. Now, the clover key is missing. The queen is sick. 
and the creatures in the surface are going nuts. We have no evidence to, to suggest a correlation. But you'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so let me go ahead and mark that map of yours. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with danger. Okay. Hearn and Kalev can help you here in the overland with your armor and arms. Now go. Speak with the people. Speak. And find out what's wrong. Speak. Yes. Behold the clover key. It looks like a chest made out of walnut. On the back, there's hinges. On the front, it has a strange cavity in the shape of, of a four-leaf clover. Hmm. What if I examine the cavity? I run my hand over the four-leaf clover cavity. The bottom section moves slightly when I press it. Ah. Oh, let me leave. I'm not going to mess with this. I'm not messing with... Not yet, not yet. It's interesting that they're letting me. Game over. You killed the queen. I'm dying. I'm dying! Ah! Ah! Ugh. Can I... Oh, my goodness. I'm about to die. Do you have any food, sir? Oh, my gosh. Ah. I heard my heart beating. Like the beat of a drum. Oh, my gosh. Like Kesha. Do you have any food, sir? Bugs don't need light. Are you a mushroom, sir? Are you a mushroom? It's edible and beautiful. Look how beautiful and edible it is. Should I eat the mushroom now? I don't think I'm going to die, actually. I think maybe... If I'm starving, I go down to 10 life and stay here. As long as I don't get injured, I'm fine. I might want to try to find a uh, stove. Ooh. Is there a puddle of water over here? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, it's amazing I didn't play this game when it first came out because I like it. I haven't seen any gameplay of it. I read a partial review of it, and I heard complaints about hitboxes on creatures. And from hearing that complaint, I expected some janky piece of wannabe garbage. Right? Weren't you expecting that? Not this. Dare I say, borderline better than grounded for different reasons? It's kind of weird. It's... Question, it's questionably better than Grounded for other reasons. It feels more like an RPG. But Grounded is great. But it's not like we're missing out on adventure or uh, the fantasy aspect or the graphics or the calming, relaxing nature of the music. Right now my character is dying and you can hear my heart beating. You will eat the mushroom. You will eat the mushroom. Maximus. Eat the mushroom. Can I build the fire? Right here? Can I build anywhere? It's, it's right here. Right here. This is a good spot. This is a good spot, okay? Alright. And then I 
use. And I make mushroom shake stick. Okay, so. It's done already. Okay, so now I eat the mushroom steak. I put it in number eight, and I eat again. There it is. We have solved the, we have solved the riddle of the eating. The mystery of the eating has been solved. Let's get more of these amazing mushrooms. Well, hey, this game is awesome. Uh. Ah! Never mind, this game is garbage. I'm joking. <laughs> I find that to be hilarious. Okay. Where the heck's my backpack? I jumped down and died. Where's my backpack? Is it on my compass? Gravestone. There it is. Can I go that way now? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I can mark something. Nope. Falling damage, baby. They stole the grounded concept? Yes. Yes, they did. High five to them. Look at those pathetically small ladybugs down there. Look how large I am compared to this pathetic ladybug. Ha ha ha. That's right, run away, you small bug. Now, where'd I die at? Where's my backpack? There it is. But, hey. That's what I was thinking as well when I when I heard about Small Land. I, I was thinking it was like a wannabe game. I was thinking that as well, but it's not the same as Grounded. Keto. It's not the same as grounded. At all. So far, it's not at all the same. Besides being small. You know? I'm not a human. I'm not a kid. I wasn't shrunken like honey, I shrunk the kids. This is in the backyard. And there appears to be a storyline. And a bunch of talking. And a bunch of interaction. And beyond that is a survival game. It would be a shame if Grounded is the only game that gets that entire category. You know? Like there's only one zombie game or something. Only one sh game that involves shooting things. I'm like a weird... Uh, I have like weird antennae, you see? What's happening? <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, let me fill up. I just started. I'm like some weird creature. I'm like a fairy uh, sprite thing. I'm not an elf. I'm like a tiny little uh, thing. You know? I have antenna, bug ears. I'm like a creature. So the storyline is so far, there's a problem with the queen. She's sick, and I have to go up here to figure out what, what, what the problem is. That's all. I'm a, uh, the other word for fairy. Let me eat some of this food. 
Man, I just started so I have to figure out this whole this whole thing. Alright, good. Now am I gonna heal? Let's keep on moving down the road. See I have this sense about me. That's cool. See so far that's better, and I can slide. See? So far I have this weird antenna sense, which is really cool. You know? And I can slide in in theory, right? I said in theory. Yes. And I feel like the graphics might even be better than grounded. I don't know. I feel like it's a possible. Oh no! Wait, there's ants. Run away! I'm sure you can kill the. I'm sure. I'm sure. Ooh. Ha! And here's the map. I don't really know how big the world is or what's going on. But my goal right now is to go find other outlander people. Because there's some sort of disturbance with the creatures out here in the in the over overland. Let me cut this down. So I, I will keep playing this game and I'm not gonna uninstall it and I think I'll I'll be streaming this game and uh, Cyberpunk for a bit until uh, Diablo 4 comes out next month. The beginning of next month. So right now I'm still near the beginning. I'm just trying to gather whatever is available here. I've already died uh, twice. One from combat rolling into water, into water and I died immediately. The other time was by falling five feet after having very little life from not eating for two seconds. Yes. Oh, it's me again. Hi there. Can you make the rest of my armor? Friendo. Make the chest armor. Ah. Oh. Protect me from the... Oh... Oh. Wait, whoops. Dang it. No, dang it. Uh, can I undo reality, please? Can I sell this to you? Do you want this? What do I do with it? Can I destroy it? Can I throw it in the Can I throw it in the ocean? Can I break it down? Can I throw it away? Oh, what a shame. Goodbye. Oh, no. Is it worth 25 bucks? Yes. My first impression is yes. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My first impression was... Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I like the overall customization of the character. Okay? And the music was very Harry Potter-esque. And the graphics are pretty good. And it has a storyline. You know? So that's pretty cool. ooh -wee. And now I have full life. I got some armor. Made the wrong armor, which is super cool. I think. And I gotta make other items eventually. No! No, uh, the Starship Trooper game was not good. No. No! I mean, it was good, but it didn't run smoothly, so I refunded it. No. 
Am I supposed to fight these ants? Give me a second. I'm a good guy. Let me just keep on going forward. I should make a shelter somewhere, but I don't know really where, th where there's a good spot. This wood appears to be... Or, yeah. This wood appears to be probably what I need to make structures. That's why they give me so much. Ooh, stones. I need what? A... A... Mandibular pickaxe. That water's probably a death sentence. It probably is. Also, the problem with Starship Troopers is that the game wasn't listed in Facebook, you know? Normally, whenever I stream something, I have to select the game. And there's a, a drop-down list. And the game is still in early access, so the game isn't even listed. So that it, it wouldn't be good at all for me to stream that game, you know? It's like I'm not streaming anything. That's part of the reason. It would not be good if I streamed it. I have very little sense of where the heck I am and what the heck is happening. But we'll get that done. No! No! Yeah, the, the, the game was... So, whenever I, I, I create a live stream, I have to enter all the settings and everything. And under those settings, it asks me what game I'm playing. And there's a, uh, I type in the words, and there's a drop-down menu, and that game wasn't listed because it's still in early access. So I'm supposed to go way out here to Kelev. And, woo! Am I supposed to fight you? Yes. Am I supposed to fight you? I don't want to fight you. I'm a good guy. I'm, I'm of the forest. Why are there so many ants over here? Oh, oh, I understand. I understand my folly. I'm in the Antlands. I ventured into the Antlands. Now, I enjoy the size of my character. I feel like you're you're a bit smaller and grounded. Or, or dare I say you're a lot smaller and grounded. Oh my gosh. Got this action music behind me. All right, so where's a good spot for a stinking base? Let's see here. What can I make? A simple chest. A simple bed. Foundations. Foundations. Structures. Oh my goodness. Look, it's happening. It's really happening. Oh! There you see. <laughs> this is my home, you see. Welcome to my home. What else do we have? We have a staircase, baby. Oh my goodness. Yes. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my home. Welcome. Can I move you? Can I please dismantle? Yes. Okay. And that's going to be my bedroom. Yes. All right. Okay. This is the internal wall. Welcome to my bedroom. It's mantibular fiber. Or something. They call me Foundation Jones. 
You gotta have these balcony things. I'm, I mean it. Interactive. Give, give me one second. I have to get this thing established. You have insufficient materials, beast. This game multiplayer, it does have multiplayer features, yes. But it's the same style of multiplayer as as the other survival games where you have to invite people. You know? But but I, I'm not too sure the level of multiplayer because it said at the beginning for me to open up my game to other people. So once I figure it out, I'll try to experiment with that. But I don't want to join some other world right away. But it did have multiplayer features when, when I first went into the game. My character is starting to get hungry. I wonder if this stuff grows back. Yeah. Drop in, drop out. Can you explain more there, Dwayne? Can you explain more about that? I don't know. You, you keep your stuff with you. Do you, uh, do you enter somebody else's world, or is it like uh, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me get a bit more supplies here. Building a house. Building a house. Before it's too late. Yes. more fiber. Oh, so, yeah, it's just like... Oh, my gosh, that's a good-looking bug. That's a good-looking bug over there. Freaking me out. It's a grasshopper. Yeah, so it's just like Grounded, right? Or, or, or Daisy, or... Well, I don't know if Daisy does. Look, it's a wasp. Should probably mark this spot. Um. All right. A oh, thank you for the fibrosis. All right. Would have had a chance. Attaché. Beautiful. That's nice. Oh, no. 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 No! 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 Ho ho ho! Beep! Hey! Not today! They call me Nopes McAllister. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're not chasing me anymore. I don't really want uh, too many spoilers though, okay? Or any, any tips or anything. But I appreciate it. Hmm.
stamina is nice and hefty. Good lord. -er. Oh no. Oh fart fig. These guys are these guys are nice, aren't they? These guys are friendly. Friendly ants. Friendly friendly ants. Woohoo! Good lord. -er. Gonna back off already, pal. You have one screw. Oh my goodness. Uh, you have a bottle cap now. Congratulations. Keep moving, beast. Keep moving with your eternal energy. Yeah. Yeah. Show. <laughs> Yep. You just gotta, like, jump a gap. Uh, I've already figured out how to do it. I'm not really trying to. I'm trying to gather. I'm trying to multitask. Whoa! Yeah. What's this? Whoa. Easy peasy. No! You want me to attack back or something? I'm not gonna fight these guys. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve my blade. It's the butterfly boss. Okay. Let me look. Let me catch my breath over here. It's the butterfly bus. It's a cap table. Oh, my sweet pistachio. I need a bed. I'm so far away from where I was. Slide. Don't break your legs now. Don't you break your legs now. Oh my gosh, look at those graphics. Look at them graphics. No! Uh, uh, uh. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Yeah. Why is there a castle over there? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> There's buildings! What the heck? The mushrooms glow. Oh my gosh. This game is a good game. I can't see anything. Am I doing okay? You sight beyond sight, beast. Yeah. All according to plan. All according to plan. There it is. I found it. I'm in my imaginary house. Let me alone. No! <laughs> One thing. Eh. I don't want any suggestions, dear beast. I'll stop reading the chat. Are we good now? Yes. Hey, thank you. My my button is not working. One second. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Right now. I can't give you a Zagnet, so don't complain. Oh boy. Give me a second. I have to give you a Zagnet. Give me one moment, please. I have to stabilize. Let me stabilize. I know I shouldn't be running away. Jeez. I know how to play video games. All right. Give me a second. Please? Okay. There you go, buddy. Thank you. All right. 
Back to what I was doing. Made in Georgia. Okay, here we go. I said no more suggestions or spoilers. Dear Flim. Jeez. But thank you for your donation. Okay. I'm sure lanterns exist. I can't craft them right now because it requires uh, the glow bug. I'm sure if I found a vendor that sold a lantern, I'll buy one. I haven't found the vendor yet. Okay. Alrighty. Let me uh, just do a couple of things here. I'm just trying to seal myself in, and we'll, we'll survive from there, okay? It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Let me get my bed rolled down. I didn't have my bed down. There we go. Can I activate the spawn point? Yes. Yes, I can. And there's a door. There's a door. There we go. And now we'll get some pathetic roof going on. That's the alcove on the outside. I got this chimney. Chimney. Interesting. Whenever that actually occurs, we got the corner. Corner roof. Inside, outside. Ooh, I have a weird shaped roof. I don't know how that's going to really work out, but we'll see. Won't we? We'll see. That's probably not going to work out with its shape. That's a weird looking garbanzo house. I'll just put a flat roof until I figure out the roof concept. It requires the clover. Let me uh, dismantle that. I'll just give it a flat roof until I figure out the roofage. But I'm, I'm already good to go. And then I'll do more exploration and then I'll start... Uh, Figuring out what's going on around here. Okay. It's just weird. Alright. Ooh. Easy peasy destruction of the floor. How about that? Isn't it nice? I did not want to destroy the floor. Okay. So now I have this stitch. I don't want to kill you yet, okay? Now, let's see if I can um, make it daytime. The game said I can sleep only at nighttime. Of course, it needs a shelter. Alright, let me get some more fiber. It's already daytime. It's only half an hour. Day night cycles. It's not a problem. All right, let's get some more supplies. I'm gonna do a little loop, a loop de loop, and I'll get a box set up pretty soon, and I'll dump out that garbage I have. It's not gonna be a problem. I just had to get stabilized for a moment. Yeah, those ants are a problem, I guess. I I, I, I don't want to find out just yet just how bad it's going to be once I start to attack them. I don't want to find out yet. Okay. I'm sure it's going to be a problem. I do enjoy how it shows me the vulnerabilities and so forth from a distance with that button. I'm just doing a little loop to loop to get some fiber and whatnot. I think for the most part, I could ignore these enemies, you know? For the most part, I can ignore them. Woo! 
Yeah, they really aren't a problem. I can just keep on moving. Okay. Yay. You're not a problem, I said. You're not a problem. Wow. I'll come back and pick it up afterwards. Hmm. Woo. Hey there, owl. They'll stop eventually. All right, let's go. Let's go back to my wannabe base. I sort of just went down the hill, and now I'm going right back up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like right over here, okay? I'm not that far from the spawn. But I felt like it was sort of improper to build a base, like, on that path. It's not very immersive to be right there. I think my house is over here. Up on this plateau. I'm not too sure though. Yeah, I think it's up there, maybe. I feel like it's a good spot for a base. In theory. Just based upon its position up on, on top of a hill. I'm not quite sure how things wait, that's not where my base is. I'm still running from these stupid bugs. There it is. Now for the falling damage. I'm not sure how much. Ooh, we're about to find out. Jesus, stupid game. My goodness gracious. Yeah, I guess that was enough falling damage, wasn't it? But I live right here, and my body's over there. Oh, no! Oh, there it is. I see the pathway. <laughs> uh. I'm sure there's some sort of glider or something. I just don't have it yet. I think it's funny when people in the chat make suggestions my gameplay on like what to do involving things I can't do yet in a game you know what I just do is use a BF3 9000 you'll get that level 95 okay am I at level 95 Jeez, I'm not level 95 yet people so where the heck is my buddy right there hmm I gave it a shot. You know what I mean? At this point, with these with, with these dudes following me as much as they are, I think there's no benefit in me not attacking them at this point. Don't push me up the hill. I want my stuff. But once I'm here, how do I get... Can I do it? No. All right, should I start attacking you, maybe? I think they overheard me. Plotting their demise. Yeah, so falling damage is totally a problem. Maybe I can slide a little bit. I hear horrible bug noises. Oh, no. Give me a second. Jeez. I will, I will fight you. And 
I, I will swig at you. You don't want me to. I'm larger than you, okay? You don't want me to start swinging away, because I'll do it. And then you'll be upset with, with me. But if I start attacking them, they might start attacking me. That's my, that's my concern. I don't want them to start attacking me. <laughs> You've upset the ants. The, the ants are agitated by your presence and want you gone. All right. Good old, they call me Flat, flat Roof McGillicuddy. Good old DJ Flat Roof in the AM. I gotta plan out the fancy roof. I gotta plan out that fancy roof. DJ Flat Roof. Ha <laughs> ha! I have a home now. Close the door before those beasts get inside. I need some stinking light bulbs in my life. I have a, I have a table. I have a table. And I have a chair. Welcome to small land. Yes. Yes. And... Make this house into a home. 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 No. There you go. Yeah. Those bugs aren't going to get me. And now for a workbench. A simple chest of your... You had best be believing. What about now? What I will be achieving... Hmm. I'm trying to find... A good spot for this box here. How about right here? Right now, they call me DJ One Box. Can I move things I've built? I can't move things I've built, people. DJ One Box in the AM. All right, let me, let me um get this workbench going. All right, that's a big workbench, baby. Okay, fine. The workbench is outside. Professional environment. Yes, let's get the uh, the workbench right here. I said, I said, dare I say, yes, I can now build the stone cutting station once I get stones. But I have to do things. Okay, let's get the uh, the torch. Basically, I try to build whatever I can build in these video games. I try to build whatever I can build, whenever I can build them. Helicopters. Okay, so now let me, let me use this workbench. I now have a shelter away from the flim flam. Yes. And I'll put away these garbage items. Right there. The box is kind of small though. But that's okay. Okay. Move forward. So, what can I build at this workbench? I can repair things. Ladybug travel kit. This kit includes a special treat to tame a ladybug, as well as backpacks designed to attach to the four wings. It requires nectar, fiber, and edible mushroom. That's good. A pet whistle. We're calling your pet back to your side in an instant. It requires fibrosis and flim flam. 
fire arrows, wood arrows. I need a crude hatchet. Requires chitin from a bug. A wood sword with fibrosis. I need fiber to make a bow. A bull ant mandible to get the pickaxe. So I need to make... I have to go out here and do a nice rotation around the area and pick up some fiber and other items and uh, we'll go from there. Very exciting. And I'll make the series of items I can make. Okay. So far, so good. Let's see if I can get a... Um, Torch on the outside. It might it might help at night time. And you know, I like to spend my resources. Stop. Drop. Shut him down. Oh no. Whoa. Yeah. There we go. So far, so good. Yeah, so, so far, uh, I'm happy. You hear this music? It's wonderful. Dynamic. Sometimes I really feel like, I really do feel like as as nice as Grounded really is, and as soothing, uh, soothing and relaxing as it is, I feel like sometimes it gets dead quiet. You know? Like there's no audio whatsoever. The music just cuts out, and then you'll start hearing piano. Bung. 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 Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 Yes, but I, I highly, I highly uh, recommend Small Land, Survive the Wilds. I'm gonna stand here, let my character get all hungry, and it's a world of wonder. There's a castle out there. I don't know what's happening. Look at this crazy, crazy world. I'm supposed to go meet with these people, the people of the world. I'm gonna uh, refill my coffee cup. You, you guys hit that follow button, and I'll be right here.
Hey there, I'm back early. What do you know? All right. Open placement options. 170. What the heck does that mean? 70. 170. Off? What, 70? What? I don't know. My job right now is to go around the area and collect everything I can. It doesn't really matter. Uh, step one was completed. I got a shelter down, a fire, and some temporary storage and a bed. Primarily the bed, so I, I could have a respawn point, not back at the main base. But right now, I need a bunch of fiber. But we've already established that materials respawn, so I'm trying to get them whenever they do respawn. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry if you can't hear the music. It really is playing the whole time. You might have to hear it with headphones. Whoa, it's raining! So it doesn't rain in um, grounded. It's it's raining. Whoa. Okay, got all the stuff. Hmm. Let's go around and collect what I can from the area. Nice. A lot of mushroom here. I'm gonna eat more food. Now I have to go get that stone down below, right? Yeah. We'll see. Let's get a bunch of everything right now, and we'll go from there. Okay. It's raining. The food's very important. Heavy tech. Maybe? Nope. Let's keep on going. I have to put the plant fiber down below, but I'm getting the stuff right now first. Nice, nice lightning. Very nice. With my stamina. Let's go back over here. Make sure that everything is cooking appropriately. There we go. Let's go down the hill. Oh boy, once I enter combat, the music will surely play. But I'm, try I'm not trying to enter combat. Ooh. No. It's fine. Mm-hmm. So I need the mandibular pickaxe. And some chitin, but not quite yet. I'll do a little, a, a little loop de loo. That's a lot of ants. That's a whole lot of ants over here. There's a lot of ants going on. Maybe I should fight them, huh? Maybe I should fight them. Leave me alone. Ha ha. I fooled them. I pulled the fast... No, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's go back up the hill for those resources. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Hmm. <sighs> 
till the ends of the earth. I'm just gonna keep ignoring them. Maybe I should fight back, huh? You wanna fight me? Yeah! Oh, they're weak. Are you serious? It's hilarious. No, they're not weak. Yeah. You kill one, the other ones run away. Oh, they're opportunistic flim flam. I see how it works. You kill one, the other one scamper. Yeah. Let me go back. Okay, I'm gonna fight the ants. It's go time. No! No! How do you block in this world? Woohoo! Oh, E is block? Oh my gosh. <gasps> I was right clicking the block. Like grounded, you know? So it's not like grounded. I wasn't blocking. But, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm healing. So I think they are opportunistic flim flam. Meaning they, uh, if you start attacking them, <laughs> They run away. If you don't attack them, they sort of just start ganging up on you. That's pretty cool. No, back! Back! I wasn't talking trash. I was giving away your, 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 your secrets. No. No! Ah! My life is too low to be messing around right now. And I should probably go back home. Leave me alone! I want to go back now. Can I go home now? Well, it sure got dark fast. Well, I think I've lost all bearing of where I was and where I'm going. I have to go this way? This way? Ah! Let me get the heck out of here now. Oh no. I'm gonna die from all this flim flam. I'm sure I'll just heal over time, right? Okay, which way do I go? This way. Went a bit too far in a few places. Lots of fiber. Ooh, screws and so forth. Hey. Yeah, I, I really enjoy this music. Here, I'll turn the background music louder for you. Let me know if it's too loud. It's not all the way up. It can be louder if you want.
It's just, I don't want it to be louder than me. Here, I'll turn it a bit louder. Just let me know if it's too loud, okay? Test, test. I'm testing. Really? Because normally I keep the actual game audio pretty low compared to my voice. But see, my voice might be uh, drowned out. The storm has broken. Remain sheltered. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. I'm dying. What's happening? Ah! Oh, no. Arctic. No. No. These are my torches. I must return home. The storm has me. The storm has me. like an action movie for no reason. All done. Now get up. I'm sitting in a chair. Get up. What do I do? Oh. Okay, so a simple bow, rutabaga. Yes, wood arrows. <laughs> a pet whistle. A wood sword. A wood hache. I already have one. A simple bandage. I'll be a Bobcat Gold Plate. Benjamin. A Bugs Lymph Node. Where are my bandages at? There they are. Right there. Where's that sword I just made? There it is. Okay, let me go back inside. Maybe I'll put something outside, huh? Can I put something outside, like another box of sorts? Huh? 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 More fibrosis. I have the bow. Are the arrows recoverable? I have to equip an arrow. Are you serious right about now? Peter, with the last name. I'm gonna throw a food question. Okay, I know nothing. I did. I did cook the mushroom. I don't know if I was able to eat the raw mushroom. Ugh. Bite me. <laughs> they call me Chester. No.
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the gold put around for a second. Guys. Oh my goodness. Gracious. I think I'm playing on the hard difficulty right now. Woo! Alright, big ant. Yeah! No! Yeah! Yeah! Back, foul beast! Back! Back! That's right. They're cowards. They're cowards. They're all cowards. No. If you have pizza for lunch and dinner, is it a good or leftovers for breakfast? Yes. Well, it depends. Uh, you could put some pizza in the microwave. You could put some pizza in the toaster oven. You could put some pizza in the in the oven itself, or you can eat it cold. I mean, those are all different forms of meals. You know, that's all different meals. I have no more. Ha! Ah, it's sword time. You wanna fight me? I made a sword. Ha! Ha! Come on. Fight me! Foul beast of the wood lion! Get back here! You afraid of me now? Ha! I can't do it. No, don't protect the friend. He's almost dead. Come on. Yeah. I got him, everybody. I did it. No. No. Back. Can I parry? No. Run. Whoa. No. I have to make more arrows. I'll make more arrows. You're going down, beast. Come at me, bro. You afraid now? I'll do a light jog to catch up to you. Jalapenos are vegetables, but n not the pickled kind. Once the jalapeno is pickled, it's no longer a vegetable. It enters the um, the candied fruit variety. Uh, Pickles are no longer vegetables. Is mustard a vegetable? Is mustard a vegetable? It's a seed. Is ketchup a vegetable? No. Okay, well, let's not die. Let's get some arrows coming coming around here. Coming around the mountain when I do something, yeah. I'll be coming around the mountain when I do something now. I have 20 arrows. And I'm ready. But I'm not even supposed to be fighting this thing. Maybe once I kill it. Something magical will happen. Oh, cool, it's not healing. What a schmo. Not healing? What? Yes, I have your beetle heart. What? 
beetle sausage. Oh my sweet my lanta. Right, let's hurry up and go over here and see if I can make that uh, mandible axe or something. Mandibular pickaxe. I must produce the mandibular pickaxe. I need fiber. Yes. Mustard greens. Mustard, yeah. It, well, I'm talking about the mustard condiment, which is produced from the seed. But once it enters condiment phase, you know, with the. You have a bunch of different stuff in there. Vinegar and other fun plants. We're here fighting ants. Let's get serious. It's ant slaying time. All ants, all the time. You call yourself a warrior? Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're such. Look how much of a schmo category they are. These guys couldn't stand my sword. Could ya? One, two, three. Shazam, baby. I got your lymph node. I am now unstoppable. These ants are nothing. They're nothing to me. They are nothing. Oh my gosh. They're not not be starting something. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, yeah, still those ants are our are serious business. Dot org. Where are we? I can't get those ants up those those rocks yet until I make a mandibular pickaxe. Yeah, so I'm happy about this game. I, I actually do like it more than other things for other reasons. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Could be the size issue. I feel like I'm larger than these stupid bugs. But I feel like the bugs and grounded are, are, are larger than, than myself. And that makes me feel bad. I feel like dinosaurs. Whoa. Yeah, I'm sorry for making fun of you. Woo! I'm going to surround you. No! been routed. Back. Back. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to get into this game and see what it's all about. I love, I love mastering a game, you know. Right now, I'm trying to master Cyberpunk 2077. It takes a long time to master something. You sort of have to start over a bunch of times and do uh, different things. Different builds and everything to see a game from all angles. Okay. Okay, well, the ants are easy. It's official. The ants are officially easy. In fact, watch this. In fact, eventually these ants are never going to touch me. I can feel that. I feel like eventually they're never going to touch me because they're pretty easy. And you just combat roll and then hit them. In theory. So right now I'm gathering a bunch of different materials for the next day of activities. I need these, these, uh, this fiber quite a bit. I'm not quite sure of why I'm getting the ant stuff right now, but it's important to get whatever you can get when you first start a game. 
I'm just joking about what I said about the mustard thing. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's all jokes. Is ketchup a vegetable? No, it's not a vegetable. But it's made of vegetables, and what does it even matter? Words are words. Okay. Get him in. It's like saying, Is this X? Because I'm allergic and to X, and it'll kill me if I'm around X. Oh, it's not specifically X? Good, I'm good to go. But it's made of X? Or I'm trying to eat some X because I need some Y. I heard if you eat X, you get Y. Oh, it's not exactly X? Nomenclature? But it's made of X, so you get Y. It's chock full of Y. You know? It's just some words. It doesn't matter. But no, it's not a vegetable. But what a word even matter anyway? Must, uh, you know, the mustard condiment that you buy from the store that has a bunch of stuff in it is not a vegetable. You know? It's made of vegetables. I'm just joking. But yes, a... But <laughs> in that regard, the, the serious point is that a pickle is not a vegetable. A pickle is a food item made from a... Like a dill pickle made from a cucumber. Well, first of all, a cucumber is a fruit. <laughs> Put your seeds in it, you know? First of all, a cucumber might be a melon, I think. Pretty sure a cucumber is like in the weird melon family. Maybe. It's like a weird thing that grows in a vine with a thing. and It just looks weird. And, uh, so, bottom line, a dill pickle is not a vegetable, 100%. If anything, it's a fruit. But even then, it's not because it's, just, it's, it's a processed food item. That's why I gave the comparisons to mustard and ketchup, because ketchup is clearly not a tomato. It's a tomato plus a bunch of stuff. You know? Just like a hamburger is a cow plus a bunch of stuff. You know? So is a hamburger a mammal? No. <laughs> it's made of a mammal. Sometimes. But we're done with that. And we're back at the base. I think I'm going to enjoy this game. The back of this little house. I think we're relatively safe. These bugs around me, they're all trumps. I've killed the other bug and the other bug. Let's see what I have now. What can I make? The mandibular axe of the pick variety. So now I can make a... Uh, yes. So, so now... So now I can get the stone outside. Ladybug travel kit. I have to get some nectar. And what else can I make? What else can I make? I have to make the stone cutting station. So first, let's get that that uh, mandibular pickaxe lined up and ready. Right there. Let me go inside and try to make another box if I could. Let's make one more storage box. Oh yeah. Oh, um... Mm. Turn off the thing. Turn off locking. Good. I had, I had, I had the snapping turned on. Let me use this thing here, huh? Can I put away, uh, store all, store all same type? Hey, they have, they have the button. They have the button. All the sap. The sap box. And now, let me, let me check this out right now. 
What do we have? We have more band edges. And everything else is fine. I have a torch. That's a ground torch. All right, so now that I have my mandibular pickaxe, I'll go out there and get some stone. Okay. This requires a crude hatchet. Well, what's in my what is in my hand right now? Hmm? What is in my hand? Nothing. Let's go check this out one more time. The crude hatchet. I don't have the chitin. One second. Eh, let's put away the stuff. Oh, I do have some Chitin. I have some Chitin. The Beetle Heart, the Weird, a Flim Flam. Can I make another basket? I wonder if you craft from items nearby. Either way. I do have wood on me. Mm -hmm. What do I have? Two wood. Whatever. Let's keep on going. I'm heading down to the water's edge right now to get the um, the stone. And I have those other arrows already. These guys were trumps. Uh oh, the storm is coming through. My little small land self can't take it. So I guess maybe, um... Don't run from me. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I guess loot is random. Oh my gosh. I want to waste my precious arrows. These guys are passive now. They're afraid of me now. They're a bunch of scavengers. They're just a bunch of scavenger flim flams, aren't they? Opportunistic. I like that. That's pretty immersive. Here we go. A scone. That's a bunch of stones that I just picked up because I have the pickaxe. And I need a bit more chitin to get that crude axe going and get that other uh, stem nearby. A bunch of wood nearby. I'm just trying to get whatever I can. Let me go check right over here. I don't want to fall into the water. I will die. I'm just a small guy. It's almost night time. It's almost night time. And I'll be going to bed. I think the day cycle is set to, to half an hour, so it's going to keep coming by rather quickly. Okay, I'm gonna fight this ant. Ooh, yeah, I got him. I got him. I can get him now. They're not that bad. Yes, it, it's not, not quite. I'm not sure what time it is. Can it go in the hole? I cannot, but that's a hole. There's a wasp right next to me. It's probably a bad guy. Let's go in this hole for a second. It's a bull ant. Oh, 
awesome. Let's go a bit deeper in. There's a screw in here. This is not really a full hole, but it might be. Let's go back up and around, and it's almost, 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 almost nighttime. Okay. Doing some exploration near my house. Better keep it full. Stuff down. Maybe I should let them grow up before harvesting them. Would be the best plan. Hmm. Need more arrows. It's time for daytime. It's time for the day. All those screws are stored. Mm -hmm. Bedtime. All right. Here we go again. Can I kill the glow bug? No. Mm. Come back to me. Oh well. Oh, it's a jumping spider. Oh no. Could I be attacking the horrible jumping spider? Oh no. Answer is no. Maybe? Where is it? Oh no, my stamina. My, oh, I am poisoned. Oh no. Okay, I need some chitin. Let's keep a, a going on over here with the um, up and around. I had to retire early because of the the uh, storm there. Guys are easy. Ant head. Mm -hmm. Let me build my stamina. These guys are surprisingly easy to kill. Keep pushing forward. Even more. I'll get more rocks. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'll be streaming more Cyberpunk for a while and then crossing over into the morning. I'll be doing more small land. So tomorrow morning when you wake up, stop by my channel and check out the stream. I'll be moving on. I was live for quite some time. I did a bunch of different games and tried some stuff out and everything. And I've settled. I have settled. It. I'm looking forward to find out what the game has to offer. go around. I'm pretty sure I have to kill one more of those beetles to get that chitin. 
to make that axe to get that next material. That's nice. You see, I let some impression taint my perspective. I heard about bad hitboxes or something, and I pictured some the uh, plain key piece of garbage. I'm just gonna get rid of everything, and I have to make an external storage solution. I mean, there's probably a hot spot or hot deposit, but I just need a bunch of this uh, fiber of all different variety. This game sure loves its fiber. even though I had a whole lot of it, you know? In that one box. The resin. Okay, I'm looping back around. I guess. Let's see if I can put down the torch as I run. Only if I know where I'm going. Yes, I do though. Insufficient materials. Okay, I'm running back to the other side. I don't want to attack the ladybug yet. They're my friends. see what kind of bugs are nearby. Okay, let's get these torches set up. Oh, I don't have the wood. Interesting. That makes sense. Yes, I, I'm really enjoying this game. I think it's great. It's really wonderful. I like the scale, and, uh, you know, it's nice to have a survival game. I enjoy survival games. Well, I like it. Uh, it feels more of a fantasy situation versus Grounded. Grounded felt more like a, um action arcade game, but not really. Not really. Just the whole vibe sometimes. Sometimes. And like the graphics style. It, it really was slightly more juvenile. This one feels slightly more serious. I like that I, I can... Uh, it's slightly more serious, you know. Slightly more mature. Than Grounded. Even though Grounded is fine. Everything. Right now I'm exploring. Let me collect this wood and whatnot. And I can make what I can make. So far those bugs were not that bad. Uh, I like the fact that I'm, I'm really fast and I can slide around and everything. I think it might even be a better game overall in terms of like, the actual combat and probably the building and gear. But who knows? Who knows? I feel like Grounded is a triple A awesome uh, survival game based upon Honey, I Shrunk the Kids theme. And it's great. Alright, here we go.
Oh yeah. Okay, so let's equip these arrows. You. I'm pretty sure I need the chitin. But he's in the rock. Hmm. If I shoot him, he'll leave the rock. Well, I don't know. Let's go over here. I'm just collecting everything that's around my baits right now. I'll get that next tier item very soon. Ooh, look, a poison ma mace. I guess some creature killed a wasp. You see, look, there's like a big old building over there. That, that's quite mysterious. Okay, I know, I know. Um, the, the scale of Grounded was really, 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 really small. In this one, I'm a lot larger. And I think the map is a bit larger. You know what I mean? If you think about how large the backyard was for Grounded... It's because you're so small. It felt like a, a really large area. But this one... Uh... I don't know. It feels a lot larger. Sort of, but not really. I don't know. I'm sure it'll feel more familiar to me. It's because I, I first started... Uh, I just started... I'm sure it'll feel smaller as I explore more. Wait for a second. Get my stamina up there. Yeah, I got Chitin. Alright, let's go back now. I think that's what I was waiting for. On. And I, I like this scanning feature. And I like to slide around, you know. I like the overall vibe. That's some sort of beetle thing. Yeah. Ooh, see, I, I like that sliding. It's nice. Alright, back to my home. What can I make? What can I make? Can I make the crude hatchet? Yes, I can. Yes. Make a bunch of bandages. And I'll make more food. Wait. Beetle sausage. Ant skewer. Wait, I'm hearing horrible things. I heard horrible things. Okay, so now I have much better food. Can I make another box, please? No, 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 no. Let's make another box. I need more wood. All right. Let me go back around around the corner. Yeah, I'll, I'll be ending the screen soon, but this was really my first impression, and so far, so good. I really like it. I'm sure I'll like it more. I like the customization of my character, and I like the overall theme. Oh, the queen's in trouble. There's an issue. Go find out what the problem is. Amongst the other issues. I mean, I mean, the theme in Grounded is great as well. You got this horrible, raisin, shrunken scientist trying to, you know, figure out his, the issue with shrinking. And there's a covalent spacing reducer and so forth. And some latent raw science and everything. But, if you really think about it, uh, um, it was sort of basic in its framework, you know what I mean? It was 
rewarding you for ex exploring everywhere, you know, really open-ended with the knowledge that y you have to go here somewhere to go find that lab and go over here to find that other lab. And there's a boss in there. So I guess it's the same thing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I got these weird pixie ears. We'll see what the vibe is all about coming up. But I'm getting tired. Um, yes, I'm, I'm happy that I, I give this a shot. Yep, and I'm happy, of course, that it's running on the NVIDIA GeForce Now Cloud. I, I don't know if it's cross-platform or anything. It might just be a Steam game. I feel like... Whenever the game is released, it'll be on cross-platform. They're using PC as the test bed for it. That's kind of how these things work, you know? Sometimes. They're tested out on PC. Right? You're playing now too? Yes. So, let me know how it goes for you. And how far you go- how, how far you're getting it. I got to the overland, I was told to go find some people, I haven't found anybody yet, I haven't tried to, you know, but I probably might want to. I was trying to establish myself and, and get whatever I could set up, and I did, and now I have this axe, I wanted to get all these different tools set up, and now I have, and I have this new axe right here, right there, I have this new weird axe. Yeah, I'm just trying to get set up here, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I get? I, I got petals and fiber from that plant. Interesting. What about you? This, this thing gives me Satan. Pow, 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 pow. Earth eels. Heavy attack. Wait, 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 wait! Oh my gosh. Nah. No. No! <laughs> oh, my sweet pistachio. Go get that beetle. Healed. Great. Mm. Whatever. Let's move on. What's wrong? Uh, uh, oh no. Is it bugged or something? Why can't I use my little sonar beep blip? What's wrong? Am I in some weird mode? There it goes. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Sometimes I can't do my, my, my scanner. Sometimes I can't do this. And I can't interact with things. I don't know what it is. Let's go back up here and repair my sword. I'm almost done with this dream, people, I promise. 
it really was just the first impression stream, and I'm happy. Your sword's broken now. Leave me alone. Now. I was trying to end this stupid stream. Thank you. All right. Can I repair, please? was broken. Okay. Hmm. All right, bug. You and me. You and me, bug. <laughs> Done here. I just want to chop down these trees, and I would like to get more boxes put down. some boxes down. I'll put them on the outside or something. It's okay. done people okay let me let me drop off a bunch of garbage here a bunch of garbage I don't know if there's a limit to how much I can carry oh boy yeah I'm about done people I'm just trying to Find a nice stopping point, which is right about now. I started at about midnight earlier. Okay. Bandage. You have a great day as well. Everyone. So I'm happy I started the stream. Yeah, so I'll start tonight's stream with, um... Cyberpunk, okay? I'm still working on that, and we'll do that for a while. And I'm probably going to start this game more towards the morning time. Around maybe 2 or 3 a.m. I don't know. 4 a.m. Something like that. Eventually, I'll be streaming between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Or something like that. Or whatever. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. And I'm done now. Give it a shot and I'm happy. Thank y'all for stopping by. We had a great time. Head on by the Gababa to click the Facebook group. And I'll catch you later. Peace out. Like and subscribe. The Gababa to